Kyle here for IDJ Now. Today I'm here with Jason, who's a product specialist from Gemini Sound Products. Jason. All right, Kyle, this is the CDM3600 by Gemini. It's one of our newest and most popular pieces. And as you can see, it's a dual CD player with a mixer and EQ section built in. So it's your all-in-one unit for any type of DJ that we have out there. Some of the features that are going to stand out on this piece are the loop. We have an in and out and a re-loop. So you're allowed to set a point on the song, start it there, and it'll reference to an ending point and constantly play back over and over. It's a great for introductions and the, the remix type of DJ. We also have this direct access panel. What that's allowing you to do is jump to different points on the, um, on the CD. So you can jump from track one to track six to track nine back to track four. As you can see here, we have a jog mode section and that gives us two options, search and pitch bend. And what that does is it turns the wheel into either search where you can scroll through the song, fast forward or rewind, or use the pitch bend which will allow you to use the wheel like a turntable would where you can nudge the track forward or backwards when you're beat mixing. That goes hand in hand with our pitch section where you can slow it down and speed up the song. Not only can you use the jog dial to pitch bend but you can use the dedicated plus or minus pitch bend buttons. Alright, check this out Kyle. An important feature on this player is anti-shock. Absolutely. I know how it is. I've had clients come up and bump my table and bump the booth causing the record to skip or even the CD to skip. Is that what's going to protect that from happening? That's exactly what's going to protect it from happening. You don't have to worry about your CDs ever skipping. Another cool feature on the CDM3600 is fader start. And what that allows you to do is by using the crossfader you can start and stop the different side decks. So if we engage fader start and we start playing the left deck when we're ready to go to the right deck, we can just slide the fader over and it will start on that side. And we can do that in the opposite direction as well. Now, when I'm mixing, I want the beats to line up really well. When I hit that play button, I want it to start quickly. Do we have anything like that here? Yes, that is very important to be able to have the CD start as soon as you hit that button, which we call instant start. And that'll work by either using the fader start and the cross fader or by using the play and pause button. So Jason, you told us all about the different features on the CD players and how the crossfader has instant start. Now, I know this is a combo unit, so the mixer and the CD players are all in the same piece. What features do we have here on the mixer? Uh, it's a standard two-channel mixer. We have your input gain volume. You have your three-band EQ, high, mid, and low. You also have your input selector from your CD deck or your uh, auxiliary analog input which can be a CD player, another CD player, of course, and a, a turntable, and you can toggle between the two. Jason, I know that we have your headphone and microphone inputs right here on the front. How do I control them? Where are the volumes for that? That's a great question, Kyle. And right as you see here in the middle of our mixer section, we have Q volume, which means headphone volume. You also have your Q selector, where you can select between channel one and channel two, and you also have your mic volume here that will control the volume of your microphone. All right, let's take a look at the back panel of the CDM3600. In this section, we have your output section. Here, there's balanced XLR output, which you would connect to your sound system, whether it be powered speakers or an amplifier. Here, you have your record output, RCA, that can go to a recorder, a CD burner, or a tape deck. And then you have unbalanced RCA outputs as well, if you don't want to use the XLR balanced output. Here, we have our auxiliary uh, input section where you can connect uh, external CD players, uh, tape deck, an iPod, or phono, and you can toggle between line and phono and ground your turntables to uh, the ground connection. Last, we have your two microphone inputs, whether it's gonna be an XLR input or a quarter inch input. Thanks for checking out this product demonstration. At IDJ Now, we make it easy for you to purchase your gear right now. Either order from our website, call our product specialists, or visit our New York showrooms. And remember, we make it easy for you at IDJ Now.